WordPress is a great tool for creating websites, but it is vulnerable. Because it's free and open source, anyone can download it and use it, including hackers. And hackers attack WordPress sites all of the time. Now, there's no way that anyone can guarantee that your website will be 100% bulletproof. But when it comes to a WordPress website, there are certain measures that you can take to better secure it and to restore it in the event that it does get hacked. All right, so one of the most important things you need to do on a regular basis is back up your WordPress website. Your web host might be doing that for you, but if they're storing the backup on the server where your site is, that could be problematic because if your site is hacked or another site on the same server as you is hacked, it could affect you and it could also affect that backup. There's some people who dispute this, but that's what I believe. And for that reason, I urge you to get into the habit of backing up your site yourself on a regular basis. You can do that daily, you can do that weekly, you can do it monthly, but you should do it on a regular basis so that you have a backup that you can use in the event that your site is compromised. So the best way to do that, I think, or at least what has worked really well for me, is to go to plugins and click add new. And we are going to look for uh, a plugin that I like called, I think it's called All in One WP Migration. I think that's what it's called. I got the name right. Okay, so then just click Install Now. And it'll take just a few seconds to install it. It's usually pretty quick. And then it will ask you to activate. And then all you have to do is when you're ready to download a backup is just go export and then um, export to whatever you want. So you might have, it gives you all these wonderful um, options. I usually just click file and then it will ask, it'll start preparing the export and then you can stop it if you don't want to do it right away. So I'm going to go ahead and stop that because I don't want to do that right now, but that's usually what it does. And depending on the size of your file, it could take just a few minutes or it could take a fair amount of time, but do it no matter what. Okay. And know where that download is, put it onto an external drive, label it, date it, do what you have to do, but then you have it, you have peace of mind. All right. Now the next thing that I urge you to do is install some kind of a security uh, system. I don't know what else to call it, but, um, you can install a firewall and other measures um, and by using a plugin called All-in-One WP Security. And it's interesting because this one is a very similar name to the migration one we just used, but they're made by different people. But anyway, All-in-One WP Security is fantastic. And I'm not going to go through all of the different steps that you have to go through, but if you scroll down to WP Security in the left-hand side of your dashboard, then just go to Settings. And what it will do is it will give you all these things that you need to look into and change. Um, if you don't know how to change the HT access file, don't, but you can back it up, which is really important. Um, you can change the WP config file and a lot more. You can also change uh, settings on the database security and uh, file system security as well as, uh, let's see, Blacklist Manager, set up your firewall, uh, Brute Force. Brute Force is one of the ways that hackers get into WordPress sites very successfully. So you can change, for example, the login page URL. So the standard login page is something like your domain uh, forward slash WP hyphen admin or WP hyphen login dot PHP and hackers know that but if you change that URL to something else right here they won't know it so you're adding a layer of security okay and there are all sorts of other things spam prevention and more and after you've changed a lot of these settings it will give you some kind of level of security that you've installed and then when you go back to the dashboard underneath WP security this needle will move up. Hopefully the further over here to the right, the stronger, the more secure your site is. So WP, all-in-one WP security is a really great plugin for that purpose and it too is free. There is a pro version. I've never used a pro version because up until now I haven't needed it, I don't think. Uh, but I do have a client who is using it and said, it's really amazing. I think you get a lot more support and help with it. So look into that. 
overall, one thing that you really need to do on a regular basis with WordPress is update your plugins. Now, I just updated mine before I recorded this video, which was kind of not so great uh, for demonstration purposes. But what happens is when you log into your WordPress dashboard, you'll see like this little superscript. It's a red circle with a number in it in white usually, and that will indicate how many plugins in your WordPress site that you need to update. So after you've backed up your site, go into plugins and see how many you have to activate. I'm sorry, you have to update. Um, and that's very important because what these developers are doing is they're making sure that there are no holes in the plugins or conflicts that the plugins have with other plugins and WordPress that might cause problems for you down the road. So always keep your plugins updated. Now, speaking of updates, it's really important to use the latest version of WordPress whenever you can. And again, I just updated to that latest version. But the way to do that, you'll see a subscript up here too as well um, that indicates how many things, how many themes and uh, other things that you need to update. So that would occur, that would um, show up right here, updates. You'd see a little red circle with a number in it. And once you click on that, you simply update what you need to update. Um, in this case, I've got the latest version. All my plugins and my themes are all up to date, so that's really wonderful. I feel pretty good. I have peace of mind. Now, there is another area I think that's very important to have um, another layer of security, and that's a form. So let me go ahead and show that to you. So if you have a contact form on your website, and I recommend that because it gives your visitors and your users a chance to specify why they're getting in touch with you and it makes it easier for you to be prepared to help them out. Um, then at the bottom of it, you really should have some kind of a security measure, in this case a recaptcha, that keeps the spammers, the hackers at bay. Okay. Now all you have to do is go to Google. You can just Google recaptcha how to set up and it will show you instructions on how to do that. And I believe there are plugins in WordPress that allow you to um, integrate it, to incorporate it with um, other plugins. Um, this form I believe was made with the Contact Form 7 plugin, which is a wonderful free plugin. You can create all sorts of forms with it and it allows you to include the reCAPTCHA in there. So that really keeps the spammers out. This is another great um, free tool you can use to further protect your site. Now one last thing I need to mention is if you're running a business on your website, in general, you should have a padlock up here. You should have a site that is um, SSL protected. What this does is if people are inserting, um, inputting important personal sensitive information, you will want to have that information encrypted. Now, most web hosting packages, even basic ones, include an SSL certificate now. So look into that. If you don't know how to install it, ask your web host for help. They might charge you a nominal fee for doing it, but it will give you peace of mind. Especially if you run a shop, you want people to know that when they purchase products from you, that their information is safe and being encrypted. All right, so those are just some really basic things you can do to keep your site secure, to back it up so that you have peace of mind in case something does happen and so that you can really focus on business and not worry too much about your WordPress website. I hope that this has been helpful to you. Thanks so much as always for watching, and I will talk to you again soon in my next video.